the DJI Neo 2 has officially landed, and while excitement is soaring high in China, the rest of the world can only sit back and watch. In its home market, the Neo 2 hit store shelves the moment it was announced, instantly sparking a wave of unboxing videos, flight tests, and stunning aerial footage flooding Chinese social media. The drone's sleek design and impressive upgrades are already winning praise, but for global fans, the situation is far less straightforward. Outside China, there are no listings, no pre-orders, and almost no mention from DJI's official international sites. It's a rollout unlike any other in DJI's history, unfolding one region at a time and leaving global audiences puzzled. Europe is the first to join the action, with an official release date set for November 13th. Distributors across Germany, France, and the UK are already preparing inventory, and DJI's European logistics network has begun labeling shipments with Neo2 tags. Meanwhile, the United States finds itself in a more complicated situation. Trade and regulatory hurdles have delayed FCC certification, which means DJI currently cannot legally sell or even activate the Neo2 in the US for now. Some enthusiasts may attempt to import the drone privately, but activation lockouts through the DJI Fly app could prevent those units from taking off at all. Despite the rocky global rollout, the Neo2 itself is an impressive step forward. DJI has introduced a redesigned smart battery with better cold weather performance and slightly higher capacity. However, the new connector design means these batteries are incompatible with the original Neo, an unfortunate setback for loyal users with existing accessories. Still, the updated power system brings a small performance bump, extending flight time by about a minute and offering more stable energy output. DJI didn't stop there. The propellers have been widened with curved tips to reduce noise and improve stability during flight. The gimbal has also seen a significant leap, from a single-axis design to a two-axis system, offering smoother and steadier 4K 60 frames per second footage. Visual quality has improved noticeably, with sharper detail, richer color, and more natural exposure transitions that rival even the Mini 4 Pro. With a Chinese launch price of around $249 and an expected global range of $250 to $279, the DJI Neo2 feels less like a minor refresh and more like a confident evolution. Once the global rollout clears its turbulence, the Neo2 might just become DJI's most admired pocket drone yet. Let's compare the DJI Neo2 with DJI Neo. Newly launched Neo2 builds upon the charm and simplicity of the original DJI Neo, but with a serious leap in camera quality, flight performance, and safety intelligence. It's small, it's smart, and it's designed to make flying look effortless, even if you've never touched a drone before. But how much of an upgrade is it really? Let's dive into a full comparison between the new DJI Neo 2 and the original DJI Neo to see what's changed, what's improved, and what's worth your money. At first glance, both drones share the same ultra-compact DNA. The DJI Neo 2 weighs slightly more at 151 grams compared to the Neo's 145 grams, but that's still impressively light and well below most drone registration limits. The Neo 2's build feels more premium, featuring refined materials that give it a sturdier yet sleek finish. While both are aimed at beginners, the Neo2 is clearly styled for both casual flyers and aspiring content creators who want a more professional feel. The biggest leap, however, is in the camera system. The original Neo had a 1-2.3 inch CMOS sensor capable of shooting 12 megapixel photos and 4K at 30 frames per second. Decent for social media or hobby use, but the Neo2 steps up with a larger 1-1.3 inch CMOS sensor the same size found in some higher-end DJI drones. The result? Sharper details, improved dynamic range, and better low-light performance. The Neo2 doesn't stop there. It can record in 4K at 60 frames per second and even 100 frames per second for smooth cinematic slow motion, something unheard of in this small size class. DJI has also enhanced color and contrast processing, producing richer and more vibrant footage straight out of the camera. The Neo's three-axis mechanical gimbal offered nice stability, 
but the Neo 2's two-axis gimbal paired with smart electronic stabilization and advanced software makes footage just as smooth, even in light wind. When it comes to intelligent shooting, the Neo 2 takes creativity several steps further. It includes DJI's Focus Track Suite, featuring Active Track, Spotlight, and Point of Interest, all powered by better sensors and smarter tracking. The drone can lock onto subjects like cyclists or runners, follow them smoothly, and even execute cinematic shots automatically. It introduces new creative modes such as Master Shots, Dolly Zoom, and Selfie Shot, features once limited to more expensive DJI models. The older Neo's quick shots were more basic, offering modes like Droney, Circle, Rocket, and Helix, but without the advanced subject recognition or cinematic control the Neo 2 delivers. Safety and flight intelligence also get a massive upgrade. The Neo 2 now includes omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, giving pilots confidence to fly through tighter spaces without fear of crashing. The original Neo relied only on downward sensors, which limited its awareness. The Neo 2 can automatically correct flight paths, avoid collisions, and perform emergency maneuvers, making it ideal for new pilots. It also supports DJI's advanced return to home system, GPS flight stabilization, and a new beginner mode with customizable limits. Performance-wise, the Neo 2 offers a more refined flight experience. Its top speed rises to 43 km per hour, and it maintains better stability in light winds thanks to improved aerodynamic tuning. Flight time sits at around 19 minutes, just one minute less than the Neo, but it makes up for it with more powerful propulsion and faster responses. The new DJI 04 transmission system dramatically increases its range to 10 km compared to the Neo's 4 km limit offering low-latency HD Live View and dual-band Wi-Fi for a more reliable signal. Battery performance also sees a smart evolution. The Neo 2's 1,606 mAh lithium-ion battery supports faster USB-C charging, taking just around 45 to 50 minutes to recharge, and it's now fully removable, a welcome upgrade for travelers or creators shooting on the go. The original Neo's non-removable 1,100 mAh battery made extended use inconvenient. Connectivity and app integration have improved too. Both drones use the DJI Fly app, but the Neo 2 offers a low-latency HD live feed and even packs 49GB of built-in storage, something the Neo completely lacked. When it comes to price, DJI has positioned the Neo 2 as an affordable yet capable step up from the original. The DJI Neo 2 Fly Solo package starts at $259. The Fly More Combo, which includes extra batteries and accessories, is priced at $429. And the Motion Fly Combo, complete with DJI Goggles 3 and a motion controller, costs $599. By comparison, the original DJI Neo starts at $199 for the basic kit, $289 for the Fly More Combo, and $418 for its motion bundle. In short, the DJI Neo 2 feels like a complete refresh, smarter, stronger, and more cinematic, while keeping the same fun and friendly spirit that made the original Neo popular. It's a perfect evolution for beginners ready to take their creativity to the next level without breaking the bank. So which one would you go for? The upgraded DJI Neo 2 with its cinematic power or the classic DJI Neo for easy flying fun? Let me know your pick in the comments. And if you enjoyed this comparison, don't forget to subscribe for more tech updates and reviews.